Jeff and Amy Hardgroves from Kansas City uh, were a big part of the Eldon community growing up. Jeff was born and raised here. Jeff was a tour guide at the cave, actually, and when he retired, he wanted to find a way to give back to Eldon. So when the cave came out for sale, it was a perfect opportunity for him to purchase it and turn it into an education-based show cave. So today is a great example of one of the many facets that we use the cave for, and it's educating our students. So we have a nice big school group here and having fun with them this morning. We're really just in our fifth year right now. So we're young, um, but we've done a lot of work to build ourselves up. This morning, they came off from North Kansas City. We have a great time with the kiddos. Once they come off the bus, we see those smiling faces. We know that we're in for a good day. Get them organized, we get them safely into groups, and then we shuffle them through the cave stations where they get to learn with hands-on materials. One part of the tour is we have different species of bats that come through the cave, so we teach them about them. Sometimes they get to see them depending on the time of year. And learning that they're actually our friends is one of the best points that people take away from it. Uh, another aspect of that is geology and how caves are formed. We have a dolomite cave. Dolomite originates as limestone, but when a special chemical is added into limestone in the water, which is magnesium, kind of turns it soft for a while. After a couple hundred millions of years, it hardens back up and it holds the form. Now, water comes through later and gives a little bit of more form, um, but after that, we have what we have behind us is a beautiful cave. You go through the dark cave with a black light, we actually give you a chance to explore Onyx Circle, which is a very beautiful section. It is one of the, the most catching sections of our cave. That's a pretty sharp turn down there, it looks like. I mean, I can't say much because I can't go down there. But. We do a lot of team caving with our, uh, our employees because it's one thing to talk about the cave and teach about it. It's another thing to say, I've been there. I know what that path looks like. Uh, you have to conform your body in many ways to get through these sections. We have beginner level sections and we have expert level sections. Depending on who it is, we'll kind of play around with them. You never know what you're going to find, whether it could be a small room or a, a big hundred foot room. You just, it, it's exciting to see what the next step is. So in, in learning about our cave, we need to understand our map. The KCAG, or the Kansas City Area Grotto, has been working with us for the last three and a half years to remap our cave. It's a slow, detailed process, but it's those details that make the map what it is today. We are 95% complete, but we're at the point where we're in the sections that are very small, and we're also in sections that are brand, brand new and just discovered. So we're still finding hundreds of new feet of pathway every year.